All right, hop day, everybody, and welcome to Fiesta Friday. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I'm Jason Salas. We have a great show for you tonight. Cultura para un rato is coming up, and we'll show you one moment of culture. We've also got a very special, delicious dish in our Gulf Mungi segment, and we'll tell you about the Women's Football League. You want to stay tuned for that if you're a sports fan, and who among us is not. But first, the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center's Partnerships for Success are inviting the entire public, and that, of course, includes you to a series of village meetings Audrey Tapaznia is with the agency and she joins me right now to talk about, about that. Audrey, Happy New Year and Hapa Day. Happy New Year, thank you. We can still say Happy New Year even though we're on day three. Yes, it's still yeah. fresh, it's still the New Year's. Happy so. 2014, at least <laughs> we yes. can say that for the first week. Okay. Yes, definitely. Okay. So um, speaking of the New Year, you guys have laid out like a series of meetings. Uh, what, what's going to be talked about at these village meetings and exactly who is invited? Okay, with the purpose of the village meeting um, really started when uh, back last year, July 2000. 13 and we had a held a conference and about 200 community members attended and the Guam's five-year uh, strategic uh, peace plan was developed. We That was submitted to SAMHSA. We um, were excited because we were awarded for the next five years um, close to 1.5 million uh, dollars in federal grant. So um, and what's going to happen now is that we will be subgranting sub those fundings to nonprofit organizations. So how are we going to get the word out? We're going to get the word out through these village meetings. And so we decided to partner with the Guam Mayor's Council and uh, basically to let nonprofit organizations who are interested in finding out more about our goals and objectives with the Partnerships for Success grant um, and in looking at addressing uh, suicide prevention, substance abuse prevention, and things like that. We're going to talk about um, the funding opportunities we have. We're also going to share the series of trainings that we'll, we will be providing for these leaders and members of the participating community organizations. Mm -hmm. So we're very excited. Um, the plan was um, approved for funding. And now what we want to do is call on those um, nonprofit organizations, the, our community grassroots, to come and find out more about it. and put this plan into action. Mm -hmm. Now I'm looking at the schedule right now. It's eight weeks long and there are eight yes. specific villages. I think th these are, you know, I'm looking at uh, Jigo, Senanya, Santarita, um, Barragada, Jonia. These are the very big villages on Guam. Um, yes. Even though every single village does not have its own, uh, you know, dedicated time, are these kind of more like, can they be considered regional? Um, well, actually anyone can attend any village meeting. Mm -hmm. You don't have to specifically specifically be from Santa Rita. That's our next village meeting that's coming up. Um, these were actually, uh, it was a total of nine uh, village mayors that we were able to initially partner up with. Um, we are looking at contacting the remaining um, uh, mayors for the other villages and hopefully we'll be able to get a schedule uh, confirmed and that way we'll let the public know um, for the remaining villages. But yes, our goal is to um, go into each village um, present what we have to, what par partnerships for success has to offer. Uh, we really encourage those nonprofit organizations to come out and see what the funding opportunities, what the training opportunities that we have to offer to them. Mm -hmm. How about if some people would like to approach you and approach the agency and say, you know, like I think um, in my village there are a certain number of issues, or this is what you know we're most proud of, you know, is you know issues and opportunities. Can they come to you guys and say, you know, would you consider adding this to? Uh, to the agenda or can you actually bring this up? Okay, well we're, um, our main uh, purpose for the village meetings is really to focus on the partnerships for success but sure. uh, grant, but if that's something that their organization is um, doing or wants to address um, they and if they are interested in um, bringing it up at the village meetings then you know they can do, do that also. You never know, we may be able to link um, their concern that's going happening in their village to somehow relating it to maybe a program that the organization can um, offer and who knows, maybe they might end up being a potential sub-grantee. Mm -hmm. So um, I would just encourage them to just bring it up and we'll see what happens because um, that's why we're there. Our main goal, one of our main goals with the, the grant is overall to become, for our uh, community members to become uh, or live healthier lifestyles. And you know, you never know. There's always a connection in that, mm. and connection where um, the things we do, our behaviors, uh, with our family and our friends. So, I mean, if it's happening in our community, there's got to be some connection. So, if they have an issue, why not bring it up and see if we're able to address it? If not, excellent. The mayor will be there too, and you never know. 
Absolutely. Okay, so is there any cost to attend? Because I know that's always the biggest thing. No, there's no cost for this meeting. Wonderful. It's absolutely free. And um, uh, I want to just announce that our next village meeting is going to be next week, Wednesday, hmm. uh, January 8th at the Santa Rita Mayor's Office. Okay, and they can, go, of course, go to peaceguam.org and find out the full schedule. And this yes. uh, happens on eight successive Saturdays? Um, they're actually Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Yes, okay, yes. That, that's the end. Wednesday. Okay. Yes, Wednesday. You just said that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See how much I'm paying attention? <laughs> ask, ask my teachers and everything. They'll say I had a problem with that. Okay. So some, certainly someone who's going to pay attention is your agency, and you guys are going to address the needs, as you said, um, give out the information, and make sure that our residents are very, very well informed. So thanks a lot, Audrey. Yes, thank you so much for having us here. All right. Stay tuned, because we will be right back right after this.